Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a geometric eye mandala as you can see here in the image. The first step is to draw a circle with the radius of whatever size you would like the eye to be. So now that we have drawn the circle, we are going to divide its circumference into 32 equal parts. The first step, we are going to divide the circle into four equal parts by drawing a red horizontal and vertical diameter, as can be seen here in the video. Here's the horizontal diameter and now the vertical diameter. These lines are in red because they are construction lines which will not form part of the final drawing. So now we are going to work out the angular bisector of the top left quadrant of this circle. To do this, we set the compass to any length slightly shorter than the radius. And now setting the compass to the left side of the horizontal diameter, we scribe an arc to the right as shown here. And now with the same radius, setting our compass on the top of the vertical diameter, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn arc. And now we join this intersection through the center point and elongate it until it cuts the other side of the circumference as shown here. This is the angular bisector, which divides it into 245 degree angles. So the next step is to scribe the same radius to the right side of the circle and then draw another uh, diameter from this point. So now we have divided the circumference into eight equal parts. As can be seen here. Now we are going to repeat this process to divide the circle into 16 equal parts. By working out the angular bisector of the 45 degree angle. And to do this, we scribe another two arcs, as shown here. And now we draw the, the angular bisector and elongate it until it cuts the circumference. And we repeat the process again, setting our compass in the center and scribing an arc to the left. And now setting the compass and scribing another arc. We continue describe an arc both sides of the vertical diameter and now we draw another diameter elongating to the other side of this circumference to have our 16 equal parts all of angles 22.5 degrees now we are going to repeat this process again Dividing the circle, these 22.5 degree angles into 11.25 degree angles, which will divide our circumference into 32 equal parts. So again, we work out the angular bisector of the 22.5 degree angles using our compass. Again, we scribe two arcs. Describe another arc to cut the previously drawn arc. And now we join this arc's intersection through the center point, elongating it to the other side of the circle. Which is the angular bisector of the 22.5 degree angle, which divides it into 11.25 degrees. And we continue with this process for each sector until we have divided our circle into 32 equal sectors or parts.
So again, we scribe both sides. And now we draw our diameters. Again, and our last diameter. So now we have, oh no, we have one more left. Now we have our 32 equal parts. So once we have divided our circle into 32 equal parts, we are going to draw a new internal circle with a radius exactly half of the original radius. And to obtain this radius, we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of the original radius. So setting the compass to the original radius and centered on the left side of the horizontal diameter, we are going to scribe an arc until it cuts the circumference above and below as shown here. So it cuts the circle above and below. So now we join these two new intersections with a vertical line which will cut the radius at a midpoint as can be seen here. Now setting the compass on the center of the circle with a radius to the midpoint, we are going to draw the new internal circle as shown here. And now with the same radius setting our compass to the previously drawn midpoint, we are going to draw a circle in black as this is not a construction line. So now we are going to repeat this process at each of the 32 intersecting points on the internal circle as shown here. So here's our first black circle, not a construction line. And now we move the compass to the next intersection and we draw another black circle. And we continue moving the compass up one intersection and with the same radius drawing another black circle and we continue this 32 times drawing a circle with the same radius at each intersection okay so you have to work with accuracy and precision here making sure to set the compass exactly on the intersection each time. Remember later we're going to rub out our red construction lines, so you need to draw these in a very light pencil. We drew them in red for the purpose of the video, but you will be using a light pencil in your normal drawing. And now with all these circles you can see the mandala is starting to take shape. The ninth circle. So once we have drawn the 32 new circles, as you can see here with the red point on the screen, I'm going to signal four intersecting points inside the internal circle. There's the first one, there's the second one, two, point three, and point four. So now with the compass set on this center and a radius center point or zero four, we are going to draw a circle as shown. Okay, in black again. So now with the compass set on the same center, we are going to draw a smaller circle with a radius zero five as shown here.
So now we are going to shade it in black. So this new internal circle, we completely shade it in black, like the pupil of the eye. So now we are going to fill in the outer triangles of this circle as shown here. Just the outer parts, leaving the inner triangles in white and the outer triangles in black. So you have to be very careful when you're doing this, just to shade the out, outer triangles and leave the inner triangles in white. as can be seen here. Okay, we are going to repeat this process drawing 14 circles through each intersection and filling in the outer triangles of each circle as we did before previously. So now we draw another circle from the center point to the intersection of the circles as can be seen here. And we repeat the process again, shading in or filling in in black the outer triangles. Okay, so this is very fast using the computer, but it's obviously a slow process when you're doing it yourself. You have to be very careful. And again, we're going to repeat this process again with the radius to the next intersection. We draw the circle and we fill in the outer triangles in black, leaving the inner triangles in white. So we continue doing this process through drawing successive circles through each intersection. There's uh, 13 circles altogether, so you have to repeat this process. 13 times and the 14th is the outer circumference of the circle so now you can see the the mandela is starting to take shape you can so you have to be very patient doing this process to be accurate and precise, but it's worth it in the end as you get a beautiful image. Here we have our ninth circle. As you can see, the outer triangles are getting slightly bigger each time. Obviously, we have gotten, gotten rid of all the previous red construction lines. So now as we get closer to the end, you can start to see the optical illusion working. Okay, and our very last radius.
So here you have a completed geometric eye mandala, which looks really beautiful and provides an optical illusion of movement when you stare at the center of it, which you can impress all your friends with. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Until the next time.